Hi, I'm Bernice McCarthy, the creator of the Format Model of Instructional Design. In this segment, we will talk about a deeper look at sharing perceptions, which is the Quadrant 1 Attend Step of Format, and it is a left mode step. And look at what Rockefeller had to say about the ability to deal with people, which is the highlight of this step. I will pay more for the ability to deal with people than any other ability under the sun in terms of future success in business and life. Now remember in format, in quadrant one, the connect step has already happened and it was exciting and it was experiential and the students loved it and now you want to move to have them talk about what happened. So the purpose of the attend step is to process what happened in quadrant one right mode to allow learners to process the experiential connecting activity they just experienced. Why? Well, to guide them to reflection and analysis about the things that happened to them in life, to encourage them to share these perceptions and beliefs so they can expand their learning and establish a positive attitude about listening to the perceptions of others who have different experiences about the same things to clarify the reason your students need to go with you as you move them into this learning, and to summarize and review the similarities and differences that have just been discussed. What exactly is it? It's a way to examine the experience that just happened. It's a way for learners to share their diverse viewpoints, and it's really important to summarize and review these perceptions so they can clarify what they are knowing now and the ways in which they know it so you can move them into your lecture time and your quadrant two time, your image time in quadrant two, in order to move them into that with some sense of knowing where they're going. And the method of course is discussion. It's an important aspect of both small group and whole class processing that working cooperatively with fellow learners set up climates where students are appreciated and respected and commitment to the learning builds. The true skill of the teacher is to build such a climate. The result for the students is feeling successful, a sense of self-efficacy in terms of their mastery that will follow in the subject matter. Again, the Johnson Brothers and Cooperative Learning. How do you do this? Well, you need to come up with ways to process what just happened. There are all kinds of graphic organizers you could use. A flow chart to see where would this take us if this is true? Where would it take us if it's not true? Um, institute some sort of classification process that combines the various perceptions of the different students as well as the processes that they use to get there. Engage the students in a discussion of those perceptions, both in their small groups and then bring this to the large group. For example, you may have just had an experience of ideal leadership where one um, leader who played the part was in total control and the other leader who played the part was sharing control and then you would ask them to classify the, the negative and positives of both types of leadership. You could discuss commonalities. You could share perceptions and perspectives. These are all strategies that you can use in this quadrant one left mode step. They can analyze their lists. Why are there so many different perspectives? You're teaching students the art of dialogue where everyone is involved. See, that's, that's another aspect of a way to do that. Um, have them use journal reflections and even structure them perhaps if possible so that at least you can get the students to be talking about the same things and become very familiar with the Johnson Brothers cooperative learning roles. Now if you really pull off this quadrant one left mode attend step, here are some of the benefits. Higher self-esteem, achievement, and retention. They'll remember more what happened in your connect. Positive attitudes towards school, teachers, and fellow students. On task behavior, collaborative skills, higher communication skills, and increased habits in checking for understanding. Increased habits. Here's what I think I heard you say, for example. Is this exactly what you mean? 
No, no, I didn't say that well. Let me tell you again what I really mean, okay? An increase in the students in their levels of reasoning. They go to higher levels the more they become aware of their own perceptions and their own feelings. Researchers have found, this is really something, researchers have found that working together to achieve a common goal produces higher achievement and greater productivity than does working alone. Research has confirmed that working together to achieve a common goal produces higher achievement and greater productivity than does working alone. This is confirmed by so much research that it stands as one of the strongest principles of social and organizational psychology. Again, the Johnson brothers confirmed that research has confirmed that this principle of the working together as well as working alone, but working together produces higher understanding and achievement and productivity than working alone. See, the way the mind, now here's what Daniel Siegel has to say about the same notion. The way the mind establishes meaning, the way it places value or significance on some experience is closely linked to social interaction. The way the mind establishes meaning is closely linked to social interaction. When an event has meaning because it is discrepant from prior experience or because other evaluative processes label it with significance, the brain is alerted to focus attention. This is important, pay attention. This orientation serves as a kind of jolt to the system the primary emotional experience is one, of the, is one of increased energy and alertness. So what happens is the students become much more involved and alert and higher levels of energies to go on to learn what it is you want to teach them. The final challenge from Siegel is to consider that emotions represent dynamic processes created within the socially influenced value appraising processes of the brain. Dynamic processes are created from emotions within this brain that is socially influenced and value appraising. We must continue the challenging task of thinking about the individual mind within the context of human relationships rather than in isolation from social meaning. So a meaningful quadrant one right mode experience in the connect followed then by the attend step, an authentic dialogue and sharing about the experience. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps in your role as a teacher. If you have any questions, be sure to visit our website for contact information at aboutlearning.com.